previously. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Little Knight, and welcome back to Paper Mario! We are getting on the train. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Why well, everything bad about train cuts to the wind is made to toss the planes. Like a torpedo under it's slicing through the relentless winds. Doesn't it just fire you up inside? I don't have the money yet, but my dream is to one day ride this train. I cannot understand you. You talk too fast. This train is bad for lecture. It's partially high, so you be morning today? Yes, please. Wonderful. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. Here you go. Watch your step, please. All aboard! All aboard! Ooh, do we get new mu uh, train music? Chapter 4. Chapter 6. Why did I say 4? Three days of excess. Oh, <coughs> Mario's room. <coughs> okay. Oh yeah, the XX Express. This is a deluxe, man. The three days to partially hide are gonna be over like that. Mm. Yes, sir. I only have two beds, though. Huh? Hey, you see that? Something on the floor. When did that get there? Mm. Yes, cat. Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky yummy doom awaits it. What? Whoa, what a freaky threat. You think this could be Belden's work, do you? Whoever this psycho is, you gotta figure out. You gotta figure it out on this train, right? But we gotta get this nut. Before anything else goes bad down on this train. Bad goes down. I can't. Red trim inside the door. Hell yeah. Cool. Shine's bright. Hey. I can get up in the window. Okay. Can I... Nope. Okay. Wait, can I climb up this ladder? No? Okay. Worth a shot. Five is Mario. Got it. Let's save here. All right. Let's go look at the other cars in our uh, other passengers in our car. Four. Nothing here. This is on the other side of my room. Okay. Up in here. I'm totally just investigating. I'm totally not uh, all up in your business. Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting a ride on this train, and now I finally get to. Dreams do come true. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna. Gourmet food magazines. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the XS Express. It's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile was just blinding. Chef Shimi, huh? Well, if I just destroy your room. Okay, you don't have anything either. Hmm. This is where the nice people are. They got really big rooms. Or not. Hello? Well, hello there, you donkey debonair dish of a man. You're you smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of enchanted aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. That's, uh, not what I'm talking about. I mean, like, an actual witch. Giant mound of cosmetics. Oh, Jesus. And she's totally cool with me just looking at that. Can I? No. Okay. Alright. Later. Oh, hello. Hey, guy, yeah, you know, this famous, absurdly famous movie star Zip Toad. 
I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion art flick and partially hide you. Oh, and uh, I only sent autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that guy. It's okay. There are several postcards and glossies featuring zip code. Alright, my dude. Well, you have fun with your career. I'm just gonna go. Door may not be open while the train is in motion. Obviously. Wait. Shouldn't there be another door here? It's weird. Alright. Hello. Greetings. Welcome to the Excess Express. I'm what's called a train engineer. Our opulent journey to Postulate Heights will take approximately three days. And how... Do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of the locomotive delights all else. So let's hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah, huzzah. The train's operation calls for limited small switches and levers here. Which I sh probably shouldn't be touching. Also, I needed to break the train. But yeah, there's totally a door missing right here. I will. We can go in. Jesus. Alright. Let's go back this way. Let's, uh... Yeah, no. We're just gonna stick with you. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Dining car. Napkins and plates are neatly arrayed. Arranged. Arrayed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car. Will you eat and stuff? Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummy, fabulous food. For this trip, we have super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. Okay. Hello. I am Chef Simi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your complaintance. Uh, I mean, acquaintance. Sorry, cheap, cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in this pot of loneliness. Candy stove here has been polished to a brilliant luster. There are dozens of unusual spices crowded onto the small rack here, and some wine bottles that they're not going to talk about. Hmm. Ooh! You have maple syrup. Thank you. Fabulous gift shop. Fabulous, darling. Alright. Train six. Or, er, uh, room six. Well, hello. I'm on my way back home. I've strayed so long I've forgotten what it looks like. There's several detective novels here. I have a feeling you're going to be a problem later. Hmm. Well, hello. Me? I have a very important deal to attend with once we arrive at Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes at uh, the expense account, yes. Okay. Nothing in here. Why do you people have anything? Oh, well, they only. Oh, it's good, but I'm going to die. Well, hello. We are on route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bad Pierre. My, 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 my. Oh, you're the champion of Glitzman, are you not? Yes, the great Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights. Well, certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Yeah, I'm Bub, and we're going to get a birthday present for me. It'll be cool. Are you jealous? Uh, not uh, particularly. Oh, I'm going to just steal all your jewelry. I hope that's okay. Hello. Hello to you. Welcome to the Excess Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Have you seen a witch? What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I, I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. Okay. Well, I've talked to everybody. Hey. You're out of your room. I was gonna have a nice lunch on my own expense account. Rats. Sincerely unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. Dying for a taco guy. Can you just whip up some grub real quick? 
Really, the whole deal? This isn't in my contract. Oh no, and since Toto's here and everything, no, my life is totally ruined. No, my heart cries out in salty pain and misery. This is my masterpiece. I mean, masterpiece. Now it's gone, and I'm left with tears of horror in my eyes. Mm, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. Oh, what shall we call it? Is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot and supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. So let the long. Hmm. Dear train passenger, it's a full fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said. And, um, what exactly kind of dish is that? I know, it's Pennington. You would likely not guess it, but I am a detective. No, I wouldn't guess it at all. The risk of immodesty you might say I have a certain nose for these things. But this conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot stew and all. And this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, gluttonous woman. I... Flurried her in the way. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me. Sorry. My apologies, my dear woman. Feel the need to practice my accusation skills, you understand? Yes, sorry. <clears throat> Very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Yes. Hmm. Let me get this. Let me get this straight. What we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, that, guess that's about it, right? Yeah, let's see this for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. <laughs> you there, in a bit of a hurry to go back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I just have broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad the actor. Is it Toad? The Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you, you Tweety Geezer. T tweety Geezer? Geezer? Can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well then, who did it, do it? Hmm? Oh, the puzzle deepens with every confounding step. You, my whiskered friend, you've been having rather suspiciously, have you? I find that rather suspect, highly suspect indeed. People, I have apprehended the rogue. Yes, I broke the case wide open. He's been skulking about the area the whole time under our very noses. The pot of super stew that vanished suddenly, a mysterious bandit, is you. What? No. You are not the bandit, you'd say. Hmm, indeed, you would say that. Well, if you're not, in fact, equipped, then perhaps you could prove your innocence by searching for the real perpetrator. Then when we know it is not you, fair? What's up with you penguins? I still, I must have it back. It's done like a truffle and then trophy for Blase. You believe me, right? Because no way it's a toad. No way. Hey, thanks, babe. See? <laughs> so lame. I know, I know, you're not the criminal. Don't come near me. All right, I'm going to search all of your rooms, starting at the very end. <laughs> uh, Let's actually get out dark, so I can start at the end and work my way back. Hello. This luggage crime is hard, but I can't let passengers in here, sir. Okay. Have you guys seen this too? Uh, okay. Not to know. No stew for you. Why does it smell like onions? Alright. Up in this dude's place. What about you, Mr. Penguin? Alright. Nothing in this one. Oh, the background tripped me out. I like the Ritz of music. Ooh, clue, there are traces of something on the carpeting. Oh, this looks like the spilled stew on the carpet. Nasty, I almost stepped in it. You just follow the trouble of the thief, don't you think? You know what, it might even be the knight who made the sticky yummy threat. What makes me say that? If you steal it, you probably do other bad stuff too, right? Yeah, probably. Anything new in here? No. Anything in here? No. 
Hey. Whoa, whoa, what do you want? Oh, sorry about that now. What were you saying apart from the kitchen? I gotta get it. Food gets slowly blame the chubby guy, not nice. What well, drops the stew on the floor outside? N no, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. There's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find anything. They should have added large photo. Uh, um, sorry, I ate it all. It was me. Well, that was quick. So, you were the enamored stew that wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the uncut facial hair. My king's sleuthing instinct identified you as the correct person to call her the ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided on me. Ugh. We cannot speak here. Find me in room six so we may discuss this in private. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. <sighs> Sorry for causing all the commotion, but man, that soup was scrum deadly umptious. Can't wait for dinner. You gonna eat all that, too? Okay. Oh, why am I back on you? Alright. Yeah. I'm recording. You found the bad guy? That's totally amazing. Yeah, I found the bad guy. Good for you. I'm gonna go give this pot back. No. So, you found the beef. Oh, wait, I mean the thief. I am joyful. I got your pot back. Oh, sir, you're the hero of my world. You have brought my pot. It's empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you for me. Here's a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. I. Why must I mention this language so, so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. Yes, about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he came by stealing enough to steal the entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. That's good. Oh. I didn't even see the dots here earlier. Aha, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky yummy Mao Convent. I have deduced this from the lack of incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then that I should take you on as my new assistant. Assistant? To retreat, my name is Pingy Piddington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you have heard of me, so that is why all I will say on the subject. As for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. Mustache, that nose. Ho, ho, ho. Too easy. So you're sure quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No, I am Mario. You introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky taste explosion in that family of a bomb. They're definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce the case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Not Luigi. Take heed now, Luigi. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. Uh, I'm not... Okay, I guess I'm Luigi today. Oh, my. It's been a lot of noise coming from roommate with the glow bomb family. My guess is they're having a little domestic squabble. Not that it's my business. I don't know. You've been listening? Don't you? That's what I'm saying. Must think more about He's a little bug. I think we should get little by the advanced learner's class in series of bombery. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, though. Perhaps a car or a house. Time is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. You need something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. What any of that stuff we're talking about? Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Yeah, sure. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, I'll give you something in return. Because I'm something that benefits the station of our family. You have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. I still think we should get in the classic series of pottery. Okay, then here's a hit. It starts with an A. Got it? Uh, an A. Apple? 
You in here, Mr. Mouse? I'm really looking forward to pop out stew all my expense account. Oh, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. Okay. Hmm. Hit up my master bub once. Well, let's do, shall we? Why, a tournament tree. What's a game boy advance, my dear Luigi? Because that, my dear friend, is what young children his age crave above all other things. It doesn't start with an A, it starts with a G. Is it a present? Nope, that's mystery. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's about this deep. Okay. I, yes, I get it. Do, 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 do. Do you know? You still tell me that bug that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it. I can use your skills. Can you help me? Yeah, sure. Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're, like, full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something, please? Okay. I guess I'm looking for earrings, y'all, too. <gasps> Anything else in my room? No, not at all. Okay. Hmm. Anything in here? This. Why is this room empty? It's kind of weird. Ooh. Hey, I found a star piece. Hey, Mr. Shippo. Uh, okay. Got anything in your room? No, but okay. Worth a shot. Nope, okay. That's just how I'm going to walk around now. Uh, oh. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you would help me something as well. Sure. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. Looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Would you please hasten and search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Are you sure it's not in your drawer? No? Oh, okay. I bet the rock star stole it. Oh, is that little bubkin one as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure you'd just be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? I mean, don't they all can't do it? Unfortunately, only sign for chicks. Ooh, what about Bella? But I have a Goombella. Does that not count? What about Vivian? Do you like Vivian? Um, my, why is my controller being a dick? There we go. No? Okay. Worth a shot. Another star piece. Hello. Oh, so that's all here for this express train. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Well, nothing in here I need.
I've already butt slammed my way all the way down this way. Do, 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 do. Just in case. Alright, come on. I gotta butt slam my way down the rest of the car. I already did this over here. Let's try Mario's car. I can hear it on the other side. That's funny. Okay. Not found your earrings yet, miss. Sorry. Really? Nothing? What about inside the shop? I don't think any of the panels here are big enough for it to be inside the shop. Alright. Alright, let's just go. We'll look inside everyone else's rooms too. Okay. Let's look inside your room. What about this way? No? Okay. What about room seven? I have a message. Uh, is this message important or... important. Alright. Uh, cute the boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. For what an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. Mario Diamond, don't you think that perhaps the young child wants something from someone he admires? Whatever it hmm. Whatever he craves, you must find it before the train goes yummy and sticky. Is this the train conductor? Uh, yeah. I certainly do. Gonna get an autograph from the train conductor. Do, 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 do. Mm, wait. I'll try the engineer first, and if it doesn't work, we'll try the conductor, because I mean the conductor is right next to him, so. <coughs> and I mean, with Yoshi, this is a short trip. Hello. Oh, my autograph, sir. Oh, it's for little Bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Autograph. I'm a train engineer. Gosh, I never get out an autograph from before that. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's save. And give this back to little Bub. All right. This music is so chill. So, would you put me the thing I want most? Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. It's such a good detective. Something for you, just like I said. Ooh, it shines bright. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Now I'm missing some shell earrings. Oh, it's nighttime. 
tomorrow. I'm glad he spoke to me. Just remember something suspicious. I found myself one blanket shirt when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. I mean, someone came on board without a ticket. If so, I might just be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. You can look for the ticketed passenger to get the blanket. I thank you. I'll be a blanket PI. Honestly, great thanks. I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. I have an idea where that blanket is. So this is an unticketed passenger, just as I suspected. The conductor was one of blanket short, eh? Then we were hunting a load intruder. I would definitely roll out the family in cabin eight. Put him in treatment, boy. Not only had I give you we'll give you today, my sleuth apprentice, you must strike out on your own with your little negative investigation wisdom. Of course I have other hints to share if I so choose, no truly. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy sticky suspect. Yeah, 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 yeah. This place is so pretty. Ooh, I'm having a lot of trouble with that fire. <coughs> All right. Let's look at my place first for any uh, extras that might be here. Oh, all right. Cabin four. Hello? I know someone's in here. Where are you? All right, let's go talk to the other dude. Uh, excuse me, sir. Heard some noise in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I walked in inside there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. When I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Mind checking that room for me? Okay, now I can look. Nobody here, really. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't know what to do. Oblivion. Aha. You found me. Oh, you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. I am a sticky threat. No, I love to have such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Okay. All I need is your life! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. It's in my back of the diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear is that someone would find it and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so you please find it and bring it here. You do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Okay. Don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do, oh, horrible fate awaits you. I'm probably gonna read this diary. I mean, I might not. But, I mean, it's a ghost and ghost diary. I don't know. <laughs> What do you have to say about the ghost? Mm. Yep. Do, 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 do. 
Hopefully I'll find them along with the diary. And uh, whatever else I'm missing, I'm missing something else too. Hey, my dude. Did you find it? It's a ghost. What? A ghost? Yeah. And it won't give me the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. Don't say no to ghosts. Okay. Ooh, I can't give him a shopping cart. There we go. Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? Nope. Uh, I see where I'm supposed to go. That's really not the point. No? Alright. I guess I'll just go get the damn diary. The diary the ghost kept, you shouldn't read it. Uh, oh, wait. Before I do that, I bet. There might be a star piece over here somewhere. Nope. Okay. No star piece for moi. Ah, okay. Wait, can I go? Why can't I go in there? It looks like a spot I can go. That's just mean. Wait. Did you find a diary? Wonderful, I know you would. No, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Excuse me while I go back in here for a second. I feel like I can fit back here. I can. I don't know why, but I can. Nothing I can get here. Nope. Okay, what about here? Huh? What about here? Alright, fine. Do 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 do. Alright. Hmm. Can I actually read the diary? Nah. He might give me something special if I don't read it. Oh my gosh. Alright, hold on, hold on. I want to see what happens if I read it. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Nope, that's not the right button. Thousand year door re diary. <laughs> Ghosty. Huh. Uh Vivian, make it If he reads it, he'll get a game over. You have the option to read it before returning it. If Mario agrees to read the diary, he will read the following. Uh, but uh, okay. That's all it does is kill me. All right, I won't read it. <laughs> do 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 do. Hello, ghosty. You find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Well, your blanket's right here. Woo! You're very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you're ready, you might be a spirit like me right now. Now I can go peacefully from this world. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fairly well. No. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here for so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper is so great, I'm able to stay here a little while longer. I can leave whatever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> Alright, ghosty. See you later. I'll give this back to the conductor now. Hold up real quick. <coughs> oh. That fire is killing my computer. Alright, sir. Here's your blanket. So, Mario, how'd it go? Oh, thank you so much. I'll be comfortable tonight. 
course, my yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, it's a gesture of my thanks. It's getting late for tomorrow. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Don't worry about a thing. I am the conductor of the XS Express. I still haven't found the chalet rings or the gold ring. So it's not a fact I stick you up a step spec, just as I suspected. Mystery deepens. It's getting other late. Let us turn in and work on the case tomorrow. Well, fine, fuck. Uh. Oh, everything's closed. Do, 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 do. do you have something new to say? Doing tomorrow's work for tomorrow's mills which be plates of glory. And Trudy is tongue, I am doing prep work for tomorrow's mills. Are you just going to say something about your earrings again? Kitchen is closed. Well, fine. Uh, why do you have so few tables for so many passengers? All right. Hey, the conductor can handle the train, so let's grab a few wings, huh? Would you like to go to bed for the night? Yes. Train voyage day two. It's <coughs> enough of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet setting out.